Hello. What I'm going to do, to do today at this time is show you how to remove and replace the light assembly on the LED. Put one on the screen here. These assemblies are battery powered independently and consequently eventually this battery will run out of power. It is a commonly available battery. To replace it you initially take off the cover of the uh, sensor. In this case, these are all mounted in the Rosemont 702 assembly. Pull out the battery. Install. This is also one of the um, Acoline demo batteries, not the ones utilized in the field. What you'll find in here is there are two different items connected. We have the LED light assembly, which is connected to channel 2. The red goes to the positive. The white goes to the minus. These are polarity sensitive internally as well as within the um, 702 itself. And then we have a switch that's connected to the 702 and this is not polarity sensitive. It simply goes to the switch located on the antenna side. To remove the LED assembly first, um, disconnect the, the wires going to the channel 1 plus and channel 1 minus. The red wire goes to channel 1 plus. They should be installed hand tight. So they can easily just twist it out to take, remove it. At this point, um, you'll see the battery sticking out of the back. To replace the battery, all that needs to be done on majority of the units in the field is pull it out the back, then you can pull it out and put, replace it with a new one. The battery type is a, it's a 12 volt battery and A23. And these are very common. Uh, within the U.S., I know you can buy them Walmart, uh, Walmart, Kmart, Radio Shack, just about anywhere. Replace the battery, push it back in until it's snug. One other thing with these, in all cases, the top assembly can also be removed. Don't know why you would ever have to, but it is possible to remove that. Some of the other things you may find in the field, um, like I said, not everything is like this first assembly I showed you. There are some where the center section is actually one piece. This is the very first prototype you ever built. Never could really replicate it, but easily. However, in that case, these are all one section, and you'll find the units here are actually hot glue it is encased in the top section. And in this case, these these can be pulled out the back and then just simply pushed back in after the battery is replaced. Likewise, if you find it difficult to pull the batteries out the back for some reason, like I said, all the top sections are removable and perhaps glue has gotten in between the battery and up here so it's all glued together in one piece. Not supposed to happen, but it could happen. And in that, those cases, all you need to do is push it out from the back and push the battery assembly all the way through. And again, remove and replace the battery. Then you can go ahead and push it back in. Want to make sure your wires are are clear in the uh, on the flat side of the battery pack because there's more. Uh, more space there for the wires to go through. There we go. Pull it out and then push it back into place. Normally these will kind of snap into place when you do that. When you are done, I'd say go ahead and just make sure that it's all still operational. And it is. So then we go ahead and reverse the procedure. Run the wire through, just hand tight back in. Don't need to get it extremely tight, just till it's snug. And then replace the wires. White goes to minus. And red goes to positive.
And again, the LED assembly is connected to channel two. On channel one, likewise, if you want to replace the light or the switch assembly, all you need to do is unscrew it from channel one. These are not polarity sensitive, and the wires on coming off the switch, it's just a dry contact switch, are not colored, so it makes no difference. Again, hand tight. We just unscrew it, pull it out, and there's your switch assembly. Um, as a note, uh, some of these are tight, some of these aren't. Again, these switch assemblies do come out and can be pushed back in. Just kind of for awareness, that's, that's another potential way of replacing it. Then to install it, you can reinstall it again just the opposite way. And they are not polarity sensitive. The switch assemblies are also, in the original design, were to be installed on the six. 48 wireless temperature transmitter and I don't believe they were on many of them uh, because of the way the the switch works it's not really a requirement the purpose of the switch was to demonstrate a shorted out output on the uh, RTD and then you reinstall the battery and reinstall the cover Give it time to reconnect with the network and it's ready to go.